for those of you who don't work in supply chain, we're not used to demand forecasting, you might be thinking, well, I hope Nicola got me on this one, forecasting seems Im important. So I guess people are really good at forecasting demand because this sounds like very important. Um, that's not the case. Um, so you have a, um, a field of academic research that's on studying the fact that humans are good or not good at changing forecasts. So let's imagine that you receive a, a prediction, a forecast from a tool. It could be AI, it could be statistics, it could be made in Excel or in SAP, whatever. You receive this and we ask you the question, do you want to change this number? Do you want to make it bigger, smaller? Do you think it's going to be different than the prediction from the software? So you have people in supply chain, demand planners, that's basically their job. They receive the forecast generated by a software and day after day, week after week, month after month, they review these forecasts and change that. Now, a lot of academics spend time trying to analyze when and why do people change the forecasts generated by a tool. And they have a very nice way of putting it. They said, well, over, they, they studied like 10 different companies over years, and they saw that only 50% of the enrichment, so 50% of the time someone would change a forecast, it would make it better, which is a very nice way to say that 50% of the time they make it worse, which I think is a very nice way to say that if they wouldn't work, it wouldn't change anything. So people are very bad at forecasting demand. 